Good morning. Duchess is getting ready to go to the vet. She has to get um, some revolution flea and tick prevention because since she keeps getting bigger and bigger, they have to weigh her before they give her each dose. Let's so run the way to do that. And just to do another check to make sure the ringworm hasn't come back or anything. Before we go to drop Duchess off at the vet, well hopefully I don't have to drop her off, hopefully I get to just stay there the whole time. But before that, I have to go get an oil change because I still haven't got an oil change and I'm like way over what I'm supposed to be. Like really bad, like my engine could blow up at any minute type situation. Like, let's see, I have um, 80,000 miles and it told me to go in, sorry, there's like always congested traffic right here so I have to be very alert. Um, I'm over 80,000 miles and it wanted me to go in at 78,000 miles. So I'm about 2,000 miles over when I was supposed to go in and that's like a disaster. I've never gone that far over my like allotted mileage ever. It's just life has been it's so insane right now. I have so many things going on. Like I don't know how I even keep my life organized. Um, well, actually, I don't. I get things mixed up a lot. <laughs> but, um, so we have to stop and get the oil change before we go drop the Duchess off. And I didn't want to make a trip running to get the oil change, then back to the house, then back out to get the oil back out. You know, oil change come home, pick up Duchess, then go to the vet. I just want to do it all at once. So I'm bringing her with me to the oil change place, which is going to be kind of interesting. Um, but she's right here next to me, and she's just chilling. She, she hasn't made any noises yet. She'll probably get antsy soon and start crying and want to move around. But um, I need to find a Starbucks or something because I haven't had breakfast because I had to wake up really early to make sure I could get my oil changed before her vet appointment. So right now it's about to be 8 a.m. I woke up at 7 to get ready. This is how I got ready. I put my hair in a bun and put like minimal makeup on, threw on leggings and a long sleeve t-shirt. That's my version of getting ready. So now I'm on the way. Tonight Nick just reminded me this morning that we're going to dinner with some people from his work and I'm not going to be able to vlog that because it's kind of like a serious work setting so it would be really awkward if I was like pulling out my vlog camera at dinner with his work colleagues so um, I'll like film like before we get there and then after we leave and I'll tell you guys what we had to eat but I just, Nick would be so like embarrassed if I vlogged at dinner. So it just happened to work out that way today, which sucks, but I'm like, I'm so busy that I really don't even have time to be going to this dinner tonight, but he was like, you need to make it happen, it's important. And I got my nails done like this yesterday and I love them, like I love them, but I will tell you the truth. These bows get caught in my hair and they get caught in everything and I'm like afraid that they're gonna just pop off at any moment. So I have to be super careful <laughs> to make sure that that doesn't happen. So I'm going on 24 hours of having them done like this. <laughs> so I'll let you guys know how many days they last. But I work with my hands too so I just don't see this being like a long running like lasting situation. Something else I've been noticing lately is that I'm starting to like show aging in random ways and I know that once you turn 26 that's when your skin elasticity starts going downhill. It's like, I don't know, I just heard that once you hit 26 it's just you need to start using preventative like, anti-aging products and so I I am 25, I'll be 26 in September, and I have just started to notice different aging things like this year. This is the first year that I've really started to notice like that I'm aging. And 
I've had laugh lines for a long time and I've had forehead, like fine lines on my forehead for a long time. But I use that Ren Beauty shot and it, it's just always helped and it keeps them away pretty much for the most part. What I've started noticing lately is my neck. My neck is starting to get lines. And I've always moisturized my neck. I always, yes, Duchess, I know. I've always moisturized my neck. I've always brought my moisturizer down lower on my neck, but I'm already starting to show lines at 25 on my neck. So I've, I've now started to use the Rin on my neck as well. So now I use it on my forehead and my laugh lines and my neck. So I don't know, but that's just something that I noticed that I've been noticing the past couple weeks and it's kind of worrying me. Um, well, not worrying me, but it's kind of like, it's sad, it sucks. I don't want to age. I want to stay young forever. <laughs> okay, so I'm at Randall's. I'm just going to run in here really quick because Randall's is a grocery store in Texas. Duchess, I'm gonna go inside really quick and don't be alarmed that I'm leaving her in the car. It's literally perfect weather in Texas today. It's not hot at all and it's not cold and I'm only gonna be in here for like three minutes. So I'm going into Randall's and I'll be right back, Duchess, okay? And um, I'm going into Starbucks. So, she's gonna cry. So I'm going into Starbucks and Randall's and I love Randall's because it's literally always, there's nobody ever in here. It's always like super, super I don't know how they even stay in business. Um, Cause it's always just never busy. I love coming to this grocery store. Well, that just survived. She's crying a little bit. <laughs> but the people at that Starbucks are seriously so, so nice. Um, but the guy kept calling me Marie. I think he thinks I'm somebody else. But anyway, he called me Marie. I got a uh, grande iced latte with one pump of mocha. And then I also got an iced lemon loaf. I'm sure you guys know what that looks like. But here it is. Duchess. <laughs> Do you have a checkup? Oh. Duchess did so well at the vet, and I just wanted to show you guys in case you were wondering um, for um, once a month protection against fleas and heartworms, um, as well as hookworm, roundworm, and ear mites. We use this Revolution brand, that's what the brand looks like. And now that she is six pounds, I could get a six pack. I was having to come to the vet once a month for them to weigh her so that I could get my monthly dose of that. And now she doesn't have to, so I was able to get six of those. And they did another test to make sure she doesn't have ringworm anymore. I'm gonna get, that'll be back, she said, in like two weeks. But yeah, so they did a dermatology exam and a culture, plus the revolution. So all of that ended up being $235. I, I recently switched over to a new insurance, and the insurance I switched to is called, um, what is it called? Healthy Paws. And I actually really like it because you can submit your invoice literally on their app. So you just take a picture of the receipt that you get from your vet and then just submit it over the app. So it's a million times easier. I used to have VPI and then once um, Nationwide took them over, oh my gosh, it turned into a huge disaster. Not only was it extremely hard to submit a claim, it was they never accepted anything. I mean, every time I sent them a claim, they denied it. And it wasn't cheap, like, Zelle was probably like $35 a month for her pet insurance, and Duchess's was $13 a month. So, it wasn't like, a, you know, it, it wasn't cheap and they weren't reimbursing me for anything, so I finally lost it and just like, I went off on them <laughs> and canceled it, because it was a total scam. So I switched to Healthy Paws because they have the best ratings of all pet insurance and I'm really glad that I did so I'm just gonna submit that over the app the only thing that they don't cover that VPI used to cover was VPI used to cover preventative stuff 
and healthy paws doesn't cover anything preventative they only cover like if you know she gets sick or things like that I wish they covered getting her spayed because that's the next thing that I'm gonna have to do and that is gonna be between six and eight hundred dollars to have Duchess spayed that's gonna be a big chunk of change but I'm gonna wait on that since Skyla's coming and um, we're not gonna be boarding her anytime soon and she's not gonna be around any other cats plus she's not an outdoor cat so I don't need to like do that immediately but I'm gonna have to do it eventually when Zell got spayed, I used a voucher and it was called, uh, I think Paws was the company that did it. And it was just like, they basically pay for you to have your dog or cat spayed or neutered for free if you're a college student. Like there's all these ways that you can qualify for it. And I qualified for a free voucher so I used it on Zell and it was a huge mistake because the doctor clearly like didn't take it seriously because it was a voucher and it was free and whatever so her scar was probably seven inches long and I think they're only supposed to be one inch or so maybe two inches max and her scar was seven inches long on a puppy like a tiny puppy not only that but she was bawling just crying and wailing and she just was miserable and that was when I realized no more vouchers for surgery. That was a huge mistake. And um, that. So earlier when I went to get my oil change, I went to this place, I found them on Yelp. I, I literally find everything on Yelp because I love reading reviews. And so I found this place on Yelp and it's a 10 minute express oil change. So I thought that was awesome. So I go and he's like, you don't even have to get out of your car. You just sit in your car the whole time and they um, do it right there for you. It's like so fast. They bring you the paperwork to fill out while you're in your car and I will go there forever. So I'm really, I was really excited about that. But that's all that's gone on since I saw you last. Um, I'm just really happy that Duchess is done with going to the vet for a while because we were having to go like once a month. Now, Zell is gonna be due to go to the vet coming up because she has her yearly shots coming up. So now, just when I finish up with Duchess, now it's Zell's turn. So let's get down. We're home, Zell. Do you smell the <laughs> Duchess? Zell smells all the other animals on us. She's probably so jealous. <laughs> Okay, it's 11 o'clock. I'm having leftover pizza. This is sausage, green olive, and jalapeno pizza with ranch. And I'm having a Diet Coke. And the reason I'm having this right now is because we had we ordered pizza for dinner last night and this is leftover. So I'm definitely gonna eat it. I just wanted to say, like, if my diet offends you, the fact that I eat pizza sometimes for lunch and I eat sugar and I drink Diet Coke and I'm not like that healthy of an eater right now because I'm so busy, if that offends you, Please just don't watch my videos. And that's all I have to say. Just if it offends you, you don't have to watch it. Just turn it off. I understand that I'm not eating healthy. I'm not trying to say that this is a good way to eat while you're pregnant or not while you're pregnant. I'm just showing you guys what I eat because it's been requested to see a what I ate vlog and I'm being honest with you about what I eat. I don't eat fancy meals all throughout the day. I have two jobs that are like really intense and now I've started this YouTube channel. So for example, like my day, I had two errands that I had to get done this morning and now I have like a small window of time that I can work because then I have to start getting ready for this dinner with Nick's work colleagues. So I have to pack a lot of stuff into my days. I'm extremely busy. And so if I can't cook a gourmet meal every foodie Friday to show you guys, that's just how it's gonna have to be. That's just my life, it's real and I've gained weight I understand that so I just want to be upfront about I'm not trying to say that I am an example to follow for a diet this is just my life it's 320 and as you can see I'm laying in bed in my robe I just did like massive work um, 
upstairs and got like so much done like in super hum super <laughs> like superman time because of this dinner tonight with nick which i'm sure you can tell how excited i am hold on that was my doctor calling i'm sure you can tell that i'm in kind of a bad mood because um right after i had lunch my stomach started cramping really bad um like really really bad and um I have just been sick kind of since lunchtime, since after I ate, and normally I would say like maybe it was the pizza that I ate, but that's what we had for dinner last night, and last night I had like probably four slices of it, and I didn't have any reaction. My stomach felt completely fine, so I don't know. I just got really freaked out, and like I was Googling, and you're never supposed to Google, so I called my doctor, and it just like... I hadn't heard back from her till just now and that was at 11 when that happened it's been a long time so I was just working and like you know like when you get like frustrated and you get kind of like in a zone and you're just like your heart's like beating out of control because you're nervous but you're also like have a ton of stuff to get done so you just it's just not a good combination so now I'm like relaxing for a little bit until I have to um, finish getting ready to go to dinner but um, I'm waiting for the doctor to call me back because she said that was the nurse that called and she said she has to talk to the doctor and then call me back. So that's what's going on right now. I got a package from Wayfair and I figured you guys could open it with me. This is the lamp I got for Skyla's nursery. So I'm not gonna take it out of the box yet because I need to wait for the end table that it's coming to go on. My order from Modern Vintage Boutique also came in today, so I'm really excited, but you guys are gonna have to wait until Wednesday for my pregnancy vlog to see this stuff, but I'm so excited about this. Okay, so I was trying on my stuff from Modern Vintage Boutique, which is what I'm wearing, obviously, right now, but I'll sh you'll see more on Wednesday in my vlog. Um, I was trying on my stuff and the doctor called me and she said that I need to rest, basically, until Monday and that I should come in on Monday and see, like, how I'm doing. But for now, she wants me to basically, like, just rest and basically see how it goes. I'm sure it's nothing to be worried about, but she moved my appointment from Tuesday to Monday. So I'm going to go in on Monday and just make sure that I'm feeling better. She said that it's nothing to be worried about, that the baby will be fine, that I probably just have, like, a stomach bug or something like that. So... Um, I haven't eaten since 11, and I think now it's um, 4.30. So I'm going to, I'm going to get dressed and um, change and, like, finish getting ready so that I can go to dinner. But like I told you guys earlier, I can't vlog at dinner because it's like a corporate company thing for Nick, and he would just not like it. <laughs> what did I say? I would freaking kill you. <laughs> See, I, I just pulled this out because it's, you know, my vlog day. And I was, I hadn't even like got the words out of my mouth yet that I wasn't going to vlog at dinner because I had already said on here that I wasn't going to be able to vlog at dinner. And of course, like he goes, what is that? Why do you have that with you? So, um, Nick would not be okay with that. like a terrible person. No, I said it's a business dinner and I can't vlog in, at a business dinner. That's not appropriate. You're absolutely right. That's not appropriate. But look at my cute new dress from Modern Vintage Boutique. This guy looks good in it. And I'm wearing my Kendra Scott rose gold earrings. And my watch from Nick that he gave me a long time ago when we first started dating. He bought it for me. Um, it's a Michael Kors watch and I really wanted it. But, Is this a February trends video? No, it's just a, it's my What I Ate Foodie Friday. But, what you ate Friday? Mm-hmm. It's not even Friday, it's Thursday. I have to it's film on Friday. Thursday to post on Friday. <laughs> but it was at Nordstrom, the bracelet I wanted, and I was like waiting till I got paid from work to buy it. And I had told Nick, because it was, it was literally the last one they had. And I told Nick, I was like, I really want this watch, but I'm afraid. Hold on, the, the light's not letting you see me. I was like, but I'm afraid that by the time I get paid, it's not gonna be there. And so he bought it for me right then and there. That's what a good 
boyfriend does. He was just my boyfriend at that time. But no, I'm just kidding. That I don't mean that's what a good boyfriend does. You still have a good boyfriend if he doesn't bite you. <laughs> Michael Kors watch. I sound like a brat. But whatever, I'm not a brat. But um I'm gonna re replay that later and then you can determine if you're ever. I know. That sounded bratty, but I don't mean it like that. I'm just saying that Nick is a really good he was a good boyfriend and he was a semi good fiance, but he's a really good a husband. Good Really? Whose boyfriend are you? <laughs> but I'm obsessed, guys. I, I, my stuff from Modern Vintage Boutique is so cute. And it's not even a maternity shop. It's just a regular clothing shop. And I got things in mediums and everything fits. I really need to put some lip gloss on. You know which one? Oh, no. <sighs> We're just now leaving dinner. And I had the fried shrimp and Cajun, no, fried shrimp and Cajun chicken platter with french fries. And Nick had crawfish etouffee. I was starving though. I was so ready to eat by the time we got there. Um, I like scarfed it down. And I had a strawberry lemonade. And Nick had already ordered me, I was in the bathroom when they ordered drinks and Nick had already ordered me a Diet Coke. So I had a strawberry lemonade and a Diet Coke and a glass of water. And it was delicious. We went to Papa Do's. I don't think I said that. Papa Do's is like a really good seafood place and it's pretty fun. We got a gift. We, one of the guys that Nick works with, him and his wife gave us two little outfits for Skyla. Ooh, it's like really blurry. I'm very rough. Ooh. Angry. Um. <laughs> anyway, so. Get that guy on camera. So now we're on the way home, and I'm feeling a lot better. I haven't had any more stomach cramps, and I feel. Good. So I'm thinking that it must have just been like a temporary stomach bug, but I got out of my system. <laughs> so. She had the sheets. She had the sheets. No, I didn't. She sheeted your pants. No, I didn't. So now we're on the way home. How did I know you'd be right there, huh? Guys, my house is like the biggest disaster right now because I've been ridiculously busy this week. I have to work hard to make a living. Here's what her lamp looks like. This is gonna go next to her crib. It has like these little crystal balls and it's from Dale Home Crystal. Authentic hand cut lead crystal designed and crafted by artisans. The timeless technique of crystal sounds very intense but I just like the way it looks and I think this will go really nicely in her nursery right next to the crib I'm officially in bed Nick's upstairs doing emails and I am exhausted about to take my prenatals DHA and probiotics like every night and I'm so glad that I don't have any more cramps that was really freaking me out I'm sure it was evident give it let me feel. What is that? What is that? Does it hurt? Why do you have a bump there? Look how bad I need to spray tan. Like my face and skin. My like, it's not even the same tone. If I could have any dessert right now, what would I have? Pineapple's Fosters. Pineapple Foster? Or is it Pineapple Fosters? Or is it Pineapple's Foster? I don't know, but that's what I would have, I think. Craving pineapples, that's for sure. 
Well, thank you guys for watching Foodie Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you haven't already voted for the content of Monday's video, head over to my Twitter and get your vote in. It's pinned to my page, so it's the first thing that comes up on my Twitter. And I have a poll going on there where you can vote for what's going to be in my Monday video. So I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys on Monday. Right now it's looking like Monday is going to be a home decor video. Which is kind of comical because um, I am not a home decorator. I know nothing about interior design. But I think it's mostly just um, you guys want to see, like, my house. But that's fine. Um, I can't really give you a lot of tips on home decor, but I can tell you what I have. So anyway, I will see you all on Monday. Bye.